Hello everyone. Uh, it's so good to be back. I've just uh, been busy planting my garden and uh, and doing my spring cleaning and uh, but we're back making videos again uh, of things that we do around here and I hope that you will uh, keep watching us as we do things and uh, and I hope to hope you'll learn something from watching our videos. Uh, I've lived a long time and learned a lot and I want to share it with everybody. Things grow. 
the deer from eating your beans. And this is just a old salt that I put a cake of soap in. It's a, oh, what is the name of it? It's springtime soap, spring. Irish spring. Ma magic spring. Irish. Irish spring, yeah, it's Irish spring. And this is left over from last year, but I'm gonna put another big bar or so in here before these grow up, because just the smell of that, and you, and you have to wet it when you put your soap in there. You have to wet this and keep it wet, because that'll bring a scent that the deer don't want nothing to do with this. That'll keep the deers away. I learned that from my brother, Jerry. <laughs> you have something to uh, keep them from eating. I want to share today with you, I got a Mother's Day card in the mail, and I, I want to share this with you. When I got this card, I just cried and cried. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's so special being a mother, and a mother of children that love you. I've got four children, and oh, I just feel the love from them, and uh, it's just wonderful being a mom. I, I love being a mom, and I want to read to you what this card says right on the front of it here. See, it's a beautiful purple card. It says, Mom, Mom, when you see good things in me, now this is my daughter Kathy talking. When you see good things in me, I hope you know it's a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of who I am when I see good things in my daughter Kathy. Now, isn't that something to think about? Uh, you know, it's, it's so important through life to be the mother and be a good mom and do everything you can for your children because one day you'll get as old as I am and you depend on them. I depend on my children now so much. I just, I just wanted to share this with you. This really means a lot to me. We moved here in 1980. We moved up here from, from Melbourne, Florida. And uh, we just loved this place. <laughs> we moved here and had a barbed bar wire fence. And, and so it was coming down and, and we were keeping horses in the field. So Roger said, let's build something, uh, something, a new fence. So he decided to build a fence. And back then it only cost the, the boards each board was nine dollars a board. I remember that, and uh, <clears throat> it's got I think it's got 30, 35 sections of the fencing, and one section is is three boards and 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 two posts, and the posts are made out of four boards. And uh, Roger built that fence nineteen and eighty five, and uh, he worked uh, he worked eating shift then. And he'd get out there early in the morning and start digging the holes to put the post with a post hole digger. He dug them by hand, all 35 posts. And you know, it's on a hill, and <laughs> I'm sure he ran into rocks, and if he had to, he'd use his chisel, you know, to bust the rocks and uh, to dig those posts. So it really, that fence means a lot to this family. Cause he built it in 1985, and um, anyway, he would, he would, he kept on just building, putting a few posts in the ground a day until he got all the posts in, and, and uh, 
and built that fence. It's just uh, so it had to be painted. <laughs> and uh, so I painted that. I, I'm sure I didn't do it in the beginning every two years, but um, uh, I probably painted it probably every three or four years when, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. But uh, since then, I've painted it every two years and uh, painted the whole thing in uh, white. And, um, and it's always kind of been like a landmark here in Rowan River, you know. It's just the only white fence here on 268. So everybody knows where that big white fence is that comes up the hill around the big trees. And, uh, and uh, we just have enjoyed it. But we did have horses in there and uh, keep, we kept horses inside for a while. They, they didn't bother it at all. They, they didn't try to push it down or anything. It worked out real good and we've enjoyed it fence all these years and I just want to keep on keeping it as long as it'll stand up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on painting it as long as it'll, the fence is standing because Roger built that fence and it means a lot to us. This, this whole place here is just means a lot to this whole family. They all love to come back here on Sunday. And not every Sunday, but every once in a while that my family all still gathers here at Christmas and all the holidays and special occasions. We gather here. And now that Roger's gone, Roger used to do the cooking. But now that Roger's gone, uh, my daughter Lisa, she, she cooks for everybody. And we all are very close family, very close to We all love each other. And uh, I think that's very important. They love to come back home. I think it's important for a child to have a home to come back to. I think it's very important. Thank you so much for, for listening to me today. Thank you so much. Can you work with that? Oh, yeah.